Don't freak out. Don't freak out. <laughs> Bobbity, Bobbity, Boo. Obviously, my hair isn't going to be this color when it is done. This is my natural hair color right now. So the hair dye is by Revlon. It's the color 42, medium auburn. So it comes with gloves. That is one thing that I really look forward to. In the instructions, the white bottle is number one. This one has number two on it. So we're taking number two and putting it into number one. Start to shake it up. Ah, I'm so excited too to have like that fall color. I always get so excited over things like this. So it said leave on here for the total of 25 minutes. I might just do that because I want to see the hair color in my hair. Is it supposed to be changing color right away? putting it on and hope it will show up later. I don't want to like use too much on one side and then not have enough for the whole head. I don't want any weird lines in my hair or creases or any type of awkward hair dye lines in my hair. I'm just going to leave it out like this. I am starting to see the color come in a little bit. I can really see my curls. Like my curls are like all at the bottom and then like the tips are like super straight because they're dead hair I think. That's why they're not curling but honestly I'm happy I cut most of them off. But I'm really happy that this hair dye doesn't actually have a terrible smell and it's not overwhelming. I'm going to add in the rest of this hair dye. I will show you guys after I add it all in. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. <laughs> I just actually finished applying the back and the front. It's said to leave it in for 25 minutes. I will definitely start it at the 25 minutes mark and then see how long I want to keep it in. The only ones that I'm really concerned about are like the straight ones, but other than that, I think everything should dye properly. I think my hair might be a little bit darker because I've never dyed my hair ever. This is my hair before the 25 minutes starts. I have kept it in for 25 minutes. <laughs> oh my goodness. I freaking dyed my hair. I'm going to try to put my moisturizers in here. I think I'm going to put in like little bantu knots and see how that looks. Ten minutes later. This is how I ended up going with my hair. I think I did way too much to my scalp today, so I'm going to add a little bit of oil to it. Just like on my scalp area. This is a finished look of my hair, like the dyeing process. I don't really know what else to say. I mean, I do like it. I don't know what the back looks like. I guess I do now. <laughs> but this cold is really getting to me and I can barely even breathe now. I think that if you want to dye your own hair, start with just regular hair dye without like using any kind of bleach. I feel like if I used bleach in my hair just now, I would have just messed it up so bad. I did not dye my eyebrows though because I was a little bit scared that 
my whole skin tone, my eyebrows, my hair on top of it. Everything was going to like get blend in together. Mm -hmm. Honestly, if you want to dye your hair, I think it's good to just go for it. I really like this look. It is so cute. That basically concludes this video. I don't know why I cannot talk today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully it was fun to watch. If you do like that, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel here. I upload um, I upload every single week on here. This year that I did not disappoint. It really came through. I will see you in my next video. Bobbity, Bobbity, Boo.